Alarming consumer price index data and legal challenges are preventing Bitcoin from entering a bull market, raising concerns about an unprecedented sideways trend in 2024. According to CryptoQuant's founder, Ki Yongju, Bitcoin has two weeks left to avoid setting the record for its longest sideways phase in a halving year. With 285 days into the year, Bitcoin's current price behavior deviates from previous halving cycles when the cryptocurrency experienced parabolic growth. Bitcoin halvings, occurring every four years, reduce the issuance of new coins, making the assets scarcer and traditionally serving as a catalyst for price increases. This year's halving saw the block rewards drop from 6.25 Bitcoin to 3.125 Bitcoin. While Bitcoin previously reached new all-time highs in the years following halving events, the current trend is different, with the cryptocurrency trading sideways longer than expected. Notably, veteran trader Peter Brandt has raised concerns about a potential 75% drop to $15,000 if Bitcoin fails to rally soon. However, some traders such as Charles Edwards sees parallels to 2020 just before Bitcoin surged to its $69,000 peak in 2021. Bitcoin's price, right around $61,100, would be up 1.84% in the past 24 hours and remains 3.78% lower than its September close. Crypto analyst Rec Capital remains optimistic, pointing out that while Bitcoin has closed in the red in October during bearish cycles, 2014 and 2018, having events typically trigger bullish runs. The analyst believes that historical patterns, including double-digit percentage gains in October, suggest a positive outlook. Despite recent price drops to a three-week low of $58,900, Bitcoin's historical performance in halving years supports the expectation of a recovery this month. Now, if you're looking for a platform where you have an opportunity to try and gain using something called leverage trading or margin trading, not every exchange offers this, and there is an exchange called Margex. You can find the link down in the description below. There's no KYC. That means that if you want to get started, it only takes about 30 seconds to one minute to create an account. And over here, you can do leverage trading on crypto like XRP up to 50x. On other crypto like Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can go as high as 100x. You can also do regular crypto trades here. You can buy crypto. Here's a few asset examples. You also have copy trading where you can mirror other people's trades. They have staking options and bonuses. You can claim up to $10,000 in bonuses. Again, you can find that link down in the description below. This is available in a lot of different regions. If it's not available in your region, some people may decide to use a VPN. That choice is obviously up to you. Moving on to XRP Ripple news. Recent movements by XRP whales and legal maneuvers have stirred investor sentiment, especially after Ripple filed a cross appeal against the US SEC. On October 11th, blockchain tracking platform Whale Alert reported the transfer of 81.56 million XRP to crypto exchanges, indicating a bearish outlook despite Ripple's optimistic legal stance. The largest transfers involve 52 million coins sent to Bybit and 29.56 million to Bitso, raising concerns about selling pressure. Ripple's cross-appeal challenges the final judgment in its ongoing lawsuit with the SEC, supporting the native coin while contrasting with bearish whale activities. Simultaneously, legal tensions escalated as Bitnomial sued the SEC over jurisdiction regarding XRP futures contracts. These developments reflect a mix of legal progress and market uncertainty. Investor sentiment remains divided, with on-chain data showing a 4% increase in XRP futures open interest and an 85% surge in derivatives trading volume, reaching $1.3 billion. Market commentator Levi predicts the regulatory clarity and the launch of RLUSD could boost XRP's value to $10. The stablecoin's debut aims to enhance liquidity on the XRP ledger, potentially drawing institutional interest and diversifying use cases beyond traditional payment services. Despite these promising developments, Levi cautioned about a possible market correction following strong gains. 
He foresees short-term volatility, but remains bullish on XRP's long-term prospects. Ripple's recent initiatives, particularly the RLUSD stablecoin, signal a strategic push to increase trading volume and institutional adoption on the XRP ledger. I would love to know what you guys think about all this. Please share your thoughts with us down in the comments below. Again, you can find that link for Margex down in the description. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that thumbs up like button. Thank you so much to my Patreon uh, members. I really appreciate you guys, my Patreon supporters. And also thank you to my YouTube members. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.